Hi, beautiful. Bleaching your hair once is risky. Bleaching your hair twice can get a little spooky. Three times? Oh, sh Four times, we're gonna see some breakage. These people are gonna be bleaching their hair numerous times in a row. And let's see if they can pull off an end result that isn't mushy ramen noodles. But before we get started today, I would love to thank my sponsor, BetterHelp, because they help my brain stay in order. It's really scary in there. And it needs somebody to help sift through the thoughts. If you think you might be feeling stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, BetterHelp is there for you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists that are trained to listen to you and help you. The greatest part is that you can talk to your therapist online, in private, in any environment you want. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to the help that you may not have available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help you assess your specific needs, and then you can match with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then after that, you can secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can also request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. So join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with a better help therapist. So obviously I got a little present for you. I'm giving you 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com backslash bradmondo. That's a better H-E-L-P.com backslash bradmondo. That is also linked in the description box right down below. Up first we have a video by Lexi Lines. I do really like this dark brown color. I think it's a good contrast between my skin tone, my eye color, and my hair color, but it is really high maintenance. I feel like I dye my hair and within four days I start to see blonde again because my blonde is such a different color than the bottom of my hair. I might offend some people here, but it needs to be said. If you are naturally blonde, it is just so hard to be a brown haired person if you are naturally blonde and it's like obviously we all like to change up our hair color most of us do but when you're blonde oh boy oh boy oh boy you have it hard because when you get that blonde regrowth like she has it just looks like you've gray hair it makes it look like your hair's thinning like it's a really hard life I suggest just embracing the blonde it just never quite looks right I think she would look so much better with lighter hair I'm so glad that she's doing a lighter color I think I'm gonna try to do maybe a lower maintenance color for a little while so that when it starts to grow out a little bit you can't immediately see it and it looks like I have bald spots. That's just more blonde hair right there. I'm so glad that she recognizes this issue because <laughs> I thought I was being really mean, but she knows. Let's make it blonde, okay? Let's just embrace the natural color. I bet your natural color is so pretty. Because this is brown and as you can see, it has a red tint to it. I'm afraid that if I take this out, it won't lift entirely and I will get orange, which is a fantastic color for people who are bold, but my skin tone is is pink. The warmer tones don't look great on me wearing them or in my hair. I agree with that somewhat, except also warm tones tend to like be okay for cool toned skin people because everybody has warmth in their skin. So having a warmer color is sometimes it's okay, even on a pink skinned person. It actually kind of warms up your skin a little bit, but I do like the kind of orangey tint that she has going on. But yeah, a nice icy blonde will look so good on her. The chances of us getting there today are slim. But I do have a matcha latte, so I'm back on my matcha. This sh so I have a lot more energy these days. So in the video, she used some baking soda. We're gonna put a good amount of that in there. Some 10 volume developer and mix it together. She just put some dish soap in there. And just stop with the baking soda thing, okay? When you wanna make a big, big difference, like you wanna go blonde, like baking soda is not gonna make you blonde. It's going to take off the top layer of a color. And it's usually more for like the day that you colored your hair, like before it actually really sinks in there and, and attaches to your hair fiber, like you're gonna go in with some Dawn dish soap or baking soda and get that kind of surface layer of color off. But later on, like it's not as helpful. It can do something, but it's not as helpful as people think it's going to be. Um, so I recommend going with a lightener, honestly, or a color remover, it depends on the situation. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, looks like some delicious soup. Round one. Girl, just ditch the brush, just whoosh and really rough up that cuticle if you want anything to happen. Okay, so I've left this in for about 40 minutes and it doesn't seem to be any different. No, 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 no. And it's not gonna be different, babes. That's not that. It's not. I'm gonna try one more time and then if that doesn't work, we're going to have to do bleach. Why are we doing it again? 
again. The one time we did it was enough and I don't think we have to go back for a round two. Well, that's just my little humble opinion, you know? My nose look like this. Ew, I look like a literal smiley face you would draw in art class in kindergarten. While I was at the hair store buying this half gallon of developer, I also got some bleach. Okay, well, 20 volume will work, but I do think she needs some foils if she's gonna use 20 volume. We gotta do a little incubation nation, baby, today. Otherwise, we need like 30 volume because that color is probably gonna be really hard to kick out, but we shall see. If you do a strand test with some 20 volume, see how that performs and then work from there. That'd be the best case scenario, but she's not gonna do that. I'm going to hope and to pray that I am not gonna mess my hair up. She is sectioning and she is starting from the bottom and she's not doing her roots first. That is like a ah, 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 ah. Yes, you did all, so many things right there. Ah, you go girl. But we're not using enough liner. <laughs> Where's the lightning girl? I want it packed on, okay? Like my tay -tas. I want it like uh, slapped on there. Thick coating, maybe. White layer, boom. I don't understand what's going on. She's like putting lightener on her hair, but then she's just like wiping it off with her hands. <laughs> There's hardly any lightener even on the brush. Like guys, scoop it. You need a large pile of it on the brush. You're not like painting a picture. You're putting it on your hair. Okay, is she blonde? Things are happening. This bottom part has been in for a while. <laughs> oh, sh that is really orange. She's gonna need to put a lot of lighter on there in foils to get any kind of real lifting with 30 volume. She's gonna do this a hundred times, isn't she? My blonde got so much lighter. Why did we bleach the blonde? Is the real question. <sighs> I don't hate it, it's kind of growing on me, but it's also not working for me either, so. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> that looks bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm known for, bye bye, to be positive. I'm Brablondo, I'm positive all the time. I'm a happy, <laughs> Sorry, malfunctioning. And she completely missed the spot. So let's hope that this second round is a little bit more precise. Her friend looks like she's gonna do it for her. So thank you, friend, for being there for your friend because she needs your help. Round two. So she's doing this second round of bleach. This is my hair being bleached twice. I've done two Olaplex treatments since the last time I dyed my hair, so it's actually like pretty soft and feels pretty strong. It actually looks so much better, and she is getting somewhere. You know what I mean? Like she is making progress. We'd like to see us moving forward, not moving back, baby. That's right. Who gave me hair? Because I am living my an extra life fantasy right now. And when the wind blows in my hair, I'm like, <sighs> like I'm, I feel like I'm on a photo shoot every, every day I walk down the street. Is that normal? But I don't think this is light enough to tone it. I think I have to bleach it again. Round three. And we are going again, hardly saturating anything. <laughs> We probably could have done this in like two rounds if we just apply the lightener correctly and use some foils and use 30 volume, but that's okay. We can take our time. Uh -huh. Don't blow dry lightener. First of all, every lightener line does not recommend that. And also you're just drying the lightener out. And once the lightener is dried out, it tends to really slow down the process. The rest of my hair is still so dark orange and I cannot get it light enough to be able to tone it. And I have bleached my hair three times. Next time use enough lightener. That's your problem. I am noticing like this area is a little bit ride-ish. It's looking crispy and dry. I'm so nervous about her doing another round of lightener. I don't know if her hair can handle it. There's that damage. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering actually if this is light enough. Okay, it's not light enough, but your hair is looking very even, so that's good. Round four. Fourth round of lightener. It's getting spooky over here. I'm gonna use the Wella T18. I actually don't think my hair is light enough for this, but it's what I have. 
Yeah, it's not light enough love. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna do anything. Then you need to go in with something that is not T18. Are you ready for the towel reveal? Let's see if it works. Let's see if anything happened. I doubt it. Wait, what? So this is the final color. It's like a very cool blonde, but it still almost looks like strawberry-ish. So the top does have a few pieces where it's like a little bit lighter, but if I take the bottom and put it up to the top, it doesn't look quite that different, I don't think. I'm really loving like the soft kind of feel it's giving me. And what I'm really, really happy about is I feel like this is so close to my natural color that when it grows, out like you won't be able to tell like at all i think it's really pretty wait what her hair looks so good and it looks so natural and like how did she get there how did that happen that hair color looks really good on you and your roots are gonna grow in flawlessly with that color i love it i love everything about it i wouldn't change anything what just happened <laughs> What the hell? Great job, I guess. Up next, we have Elizabeth Lee. We're gonna bleach my hair. The video is only one second in and I'm already gonna say something. Her hair is so dark. I don't know if that's her natural color or she's colored it this dark, but she is going to have a hard time getting blonde. That is for 100% sure. If you guys haven't seen my last dyeing my hair slash bleaching video, you know that I did the lower half of my head and then I box dyed it black. No. No, 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 no. You did the bottom of your hair blonde and then you box out of black and now you're trying to lift everything to blonde. Oh, you are going to have such a hard time. She's gonna get the bottom to be blonde really quickly and the top not and then the bottom is gonna have damage. The top is gonna be up. All sorts of stuff is gonna go on. Oh, I should probably read the directions. How long does it stay on my hair? Unfortunately, you guys, there's no one size fits all directions. So there's not like, this is how long you should put on your hair for, for everybody. It's more like, uh, from like, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. Usually is, I think what it says. That looks like a great mixture though. It's like a yogurt type of mixture. That's good. Round one. Oh, and we're breaking out the foils. And we're second. And we're starting at the bottom and working our way up. Ah, this is great. And she's using enough lightener. This big section, I couldn't finish. I couldn't soak all of my hair because I ran out of freaking developer. Obviously, as you guys can see, I have not done my roots. Oh my god, that top view was so stressful. What is going on here? Not only did you not do your roots, but you didn't do like the inside of your hair. Like you can tell that it's just like the surface. Make it make sense. <sighs> what a lovely day to mess up your hair. Oh, it is just so Bad. No. I mean, she's not done, but she has missed so many spots. And it is so splotchy. It is such a disaster. And it's very orange. My entire roots haven't been done. Girl, it's still brown. If it were orange, we'd be, we'd be in a better position. Dude, she's got dark spots, light spots, medium brown spots, dark brown spots. This is not colored, that's colored. She's got a work cut out for her. It is very uneven. Like here, it's like really light. And then down here, it is not. That's because you probably have a box dye on your ends. This part is maybe your natural color. The more you have going on with the different parts of your hair, obviously like the more you're gonna have trouble lifting it out and you're gonna get different, very variations of different tones going throughout your hair. More developer, more bleach, purple conditioner, um, so I can use it to tone. Round two. Hey guys, so I basically just started bleaching from the front of my head to the back of my head. And I know that you're not supposed to do that normally, but because the top of my head was less processed than the back of my head, I thought doing it first might help it get a little bit more even. Yes, good logic. Also, I'm so happy she's applying so much lightener. Like this is good. We're onto something good this time. As you can see, I am just saturating my hair in the bleach and just doing it section by section that you are hey guys here is my hair as you can see the roots are very very blonde it looks so good <laughs> it's not perfect but like what we went from to what we are now that is a gigantic leap that is big steps
steps, has big moves. We're doing some things, but she's definitely not done. I can feel it. So the next thing that I did was that I toned my hair with some purple conditioner and I left that in and then I left it in for about 45 minutes to an hour. Hour. This might do a little something, but she really needs to use a powerful, actual, semi-permanent toner at a, like a level nine or an eight to, to actually get something changed here. A purple conditioner is only gonna do so much for you. My hair doesn't really look very different. You can see some parts have gotten really, really light and like platinum almost, but some of it has toned, like especially at the top of my hair. Not so much, but a little bit. But we're gonna bleach again, I'm sure. And my hair just gets way, way orange at the bottom. Now it's like this weird ashy brown color, which I don't mind. I just wish it was the same all over. Definitely have to re-bleach. Now here we go with round three. Three. Uh, yeah, that's a three. Sorry, I forgot to record when I was bleaching my hair during the third session. Basically, my mom helped me um, just kind of cover up the spots that I missed before and bleach basically the mist roots. Um, a lot of my roots in the back were still black, so she helped me. Round four. Here we go again, doing the fourth and final bleaching session. At this point, my hair was pretty damaged and I didn't want to do more damage on my hair. So I really tried to focus on putting bleach on the really orange parts of my hair and I tried to skip over the parts that were pretty light so I wouldn't bleach over already processed hair. I honestly think that I could have done without this fourth bleaching session and if I just toned my hair, I think that would have worked as well. No, 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 no. What you did was right. You're not gonna get platinum blonde if you have you just toned this. You needed to bleach it again. You really need to kick that yellow out of there. It is like highlighter yellow right now. That's not gonna give you platinum. Guys, toner does not lift your hair. Toner keeps at the same level or brings you darker. It deposits tone, okay? It's not lifting. Here we are doing it again, just making sure that the orange is really gone. This is my hair after for bleach sessions. The blonde is such a vibe on her, but she needs it to be like white blonde. Like that's the vision I'm getting for her, like white, white, white blonde. It has gotten significantly lighter. I think a lot of the orange is kind of off of my hair. There's obviously still bits and pieces of orange and my hair hasn't completely dried yet. She's damaged, but it is actually definitely a lot lighter. So I think I'm gonna stop it there. I'm so surprised at how even her hair is. This is the final product. I don't know if you can tell, but I have toned my hair. I toned it with the Wella T28. And this is in natural blonde. It has given me a very, very natural blonde finish. It is definitely like a cooler tone blonde. It has taken away most of my brassiness. We went with T28. That is probably gonna be better for her than T18. Like it's still not gonna do much for her. I am really, really happy with how the color turned out. My hair obviously <laughs> is damaged. But I mean, she's holding out okay, but I am definitely way more satisfied with this color than what I had previously. So toning really, really helped my hair just look so much better. Um, hopefully you guys can see my hair, but I am so happy with the final product. Oh my God. Okay. Well, <laughs> she definitely kind of did something like she, worked it out somehow. But I do think that she needs to lighten her hair again. She needs to use the correct toner for her hair, which I can't prescribe through a video, unfortunately. But, oh my God, like you with just white blonde hair and your natural hair texture, ooh, it would look so good. Or a pastel pink. That is what I'm envisioning for you. And that is what I wanna see come to fruition. Honestly, they somehow escaped um, doom. The results were kind of decent. If you guys like to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.